Hi, and thanks for joining us today for Essential Wholesale and Labs Kitchen Chemistry. Today I'll be teaching you how to work with different pigments. So the first thing you're going to want to do is of course choose which colors you want to work with. Essential Wholesale and Labs has a wide variety of pigments that you can choose from, um, so be sure to check those out. Today I'm going to be working with our bronze pigment. So to start with, of course, you'll need your pigment. And what I've done is I've measured out about a half an ounce to work with. So once you get your pigment, you'll need mortar and pestle and an emollient of some sort. Um, I chose, well, propylene glycol is gonna be your easiest to work with emollient. Um, it's the one that's going to mix the best with any of the pigments that you choose to use. Um, I wanted to use, however, castor oil because uh, I just, I prefer it. So I'm going to just go ahead and open up our castor oil and, and add a little bit in so that I can start mixing, using the pestle to mix in the, the pigment. And you can see that bronze is really a, a metallic, beautiful bronze color. I didn't use a lot of the castor oil as my emollient because I just kind of want to see how how well it blends in and how um, saturated I can get this castor oil before it won't absorb any more. So I've got a pretty good paste going on. It's rather thick. And the bronze colorant, because it's so metallic, I probably wouldn't want to use that directly on my skin unless I'm going for the bronze metallic look. Um, you will, however, use titanium dioxide to dilute the color of your ingredient and, and get the right shade. Um, of course, you can add other uh, pigments to change the shade too, but today we're just gonna stick with a simple bronze and a little titanium dioxide. So, grab a measuring spoon. And I'm just going to add a little bit, maybe a quarter teaspoon in there. And I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. And you can see that the titanium dioxide will start to change the color of that bronze and tone it down a little bit. And I'm probably gonna wanna add a lot more of that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more castor oil. And because I wanna tone that color down quite a bit, I'm gonna add more titanium dioxide. And really, this is all about having fun and experimenting. If you're using this and you're trying to create something that you wanna to go to market with, of course you're gonna record your experiment and, and record exactly how much you used and what you liked. For our purposes here, I'm just, I'm simply experimenting just to show you and give you an idea of how easy this is to work with. Uh, word of caution, when you're getting a mortar and pestle, if you don't already have one, um, I would suggest staying away from glass, uh, glass can chip, and because it's glass, you won't see those chips if you're making a cosmetic, which could of course be absolutely awful on your skin. So I would suggest using uh, marble. And you can see that just adding that much titanium dioxide has, has really changed the color of that bronze and really lightened it up. And if my skin was this color, I might be, I might be happy right there. So once you have your, your color exactly how you want it, you're ready to add it to your cosmetic formulation. Um, I might add this to a nice lotion like our soothing lotion. So there you have it. It's that easy to work with colorants. So now that we've made our colorant, uh, I decided to go ahead and just try it on my skin and see what I thought. And I might actually like this as a, as a cream eyeshadow. That actually might be a really nice color. Um, most likely I'll add this to a lotion though and make a tinted lotion, so. Thank you for joining us for Essential Wholesale and Labs Kitchen Chemistry. Today we showed you how to work with different pigments. We hope you have fun formulating and working with your pigments. You can find 
any of these pigments and any of these ingredients online in the description of this video. And uh, happy formulating, enjoy.